Welcome to Trench Tech. Today we're going to show you how to make a bootable flash drive using a ISO file for a Windows operating system as well as using a program called win 2 bootic You'll need an ISO file, the win 2 bootic software, and a flash drive. I'll have a link in the description of where you can download the software as well as always check the links in all of my or the descriptions in all my videos in case there's updates for these videos. Occasionally new software comes out or new versions that are more relevant than the video you're watching. So we'll go ahead and open up the program and click run. So here you can see that we need to plug in a flash drive. If you already have one plugged in or multiple plugged in it will allow you to select them. So we'll go ahead and plug it in. Here you can see that it automatically found it. We'll go ahead and select quick format. We want to do this just because if you leave anything on the drive, then it can cause problems with trying to boot to it. And then to add the ISO file, you can either click this arrow and it will load a browse window, or you can just drag and drop the ISO file on top of it. So once you have that all selected, click do it. It will confirm that you want to do it, and then it will confirm that you do want to erase the drive. So this will format the drive. It will then flash the bootloader which will prompt the UAC, so you will have to click yes, allow it to make changes to your computer. And then it will transfer all of the data that it needs. The transfer can take different amounts of time depending on the speed of your computer, the speed of the flash drive, and the speed of the USB port. So there's a lot of variables that will determine the time, but it can take anywhere from 5 to 20 or so minutes. So like as you can see here, it's been just a few minutes, it's already flashed the bootloader and it's going to start transferring the, transferring the files. So we'll go ahead and let that do this. So now that it's all done, you can take the flash drive to another computer or the same computer and use it to install the operating system that you use to load onto it. There are additional steps required in order to boot from a flash drive. Um, we'll try to post another video on how to do that. So make sure you stay subscribed. If you like this video, please push the thumbs up button. If you have questions on how to do something on your computer, please leave a comment down below. You can also visit us at trenchtech.co for additional information.